Hi everyone, so today it's all about Hermes shoes, my collection, and also what new shoes to get from Hermes. channel if you're new here my name is Jen and my channel is all about fashion beauty lifestyle and as you can tell today it's another Hermes video uh, I wanted to share my Hermes shoe collection I used to have six pairs but unfortunately I'm gonna share what happened and uh, now I'm showing you four pairs today that are very practical and also my top shoe picks on what you should get from Hermes because uh, I've been liking some of the newer releases, so I will share that with you guys. If you've been following me, you probably know that I love um, buying Hermes shoes and I think they are one of the most useful items that you can get if you want to pre-spend uh, for your quarterback, Birkin Kelly, Constance and even if you're not pre-spending, I still like Hermes shoes a lot. I think they're very well made, etc. and I wear them a lot. So I went to get my um, dust bags as well. So I always keep the dust bags that come with the Hermes shoes. Uh, I think they are obviously very, very useful, especially when you're traveling and you can also use these for uh, other knickknacks as well. So do keep your dust bags from the Hermes shoes that you get and you always get one dust bag per shoe. So I'm going to start with my favorite um, or rather the ones that I wear the most would definitely be none other than the very very classic and popular Oran sandals so I have um, two pairs here uh, I used to have another pair, the white ones which I've worn to death basically and those actually broke like uh, um, yeah it's true an Oran sandal will break if you wear them enough so what happened to that pair of white ones literally the bottom sole actually just came off i'm sure you know you've had that experience um that happens to your shoes and it's just not repairable anymore so i didn't bother so i just threw that pair away maybe i should have kept it to show you guys but basically the whole bottom part the undersole just um came off so i thought it wasn't worth um repairing at all and it does happen and um this pair is epsom leather so it's a bit stiffer this is red and brune very very nice shade of green that my essay uh, reserved for me because my shoe size is 39 and they apparently is quite a popular shoe size so um the other pair is a two-tone which was also quite difficult to get uh, but i wear these so much it's um canvas and a uh, brown leather trim as you can tell and as you can tell this pair i wear because i wear them like so much it i think it's gonna be it's probably on the way to be kind of like the uh, white pair but i think i do need another white pair of orange sandals and orange sandals are just very easy to wear uh relatively comfortable i mean they're just a pair of sandals but um if you expect them to have cushioning like my mom she can't wear the orange sandals because she needs like the cushioning so as you can see there's a very very slight heel i wouldn't even call it a heel really a bit of cushioning here um but yeah that's about it and you know it's not gonna be very very comfortable if you need to like um if you if you're more used to like sneakers etc so this is a pair of pretty sandals relatively comfortable for shopping light walking but obviously not for heavy duty walking and because of the way it's designed every time you lift your foot that it will definitely create a crease over here so over time if you wear it a lot you can expect it to show wear like this the only reason my red and brun pair doesn't have that um, wear as you can see is because literally i just do not wear it that often but you can you already see it a little bit and it's just a, such a lovely color right um you know i would love to call it orange in every color but really i don't really have enough space right now where i'm living so uh, probably when I move, I'm gonna get more shoes from Hermes for sure. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on me, the Oran sandals. Uh, I would definitely recommend for you to at least have one or two pairs in your collection, uh, especially for weekends, for shopping, groceries, errands. They are just very comfortable and I think they do look very classy and they just go with everything. On me. Sorry for the mess, I'm also packing up, organizing stuff in my room. 
and the other pair looks very chic goes with everything For the third pair would be my bikini sandals. If you've been following me, you probably have seen this before. They are actually very comfortable and they are about two and a half inches. I wear these uh, not that often, not as much as the orange. It's just so much easier to wear the orange. But I love this metallic silver color and it goes with a lot of stuff as you can guess. I even wore these on the beach um, and they worked fine. The leather is still great, still shiny. Uh, quite soft and it, the cushioning I feel is a little bit more than the orange sandal so maybe because there's a slight heel and I have an arch in my foot so this is actually actually very comfortable um, I would say even more comfortable than the orange sandals because the orange sandals are just very very flat so I love the detailing here and yeah love the silver color wouldn't go wrong with bikini sandals and saving the best for last this is my favorite favorite pair of um, mules that i have from hermes and as you can tell i actually have worn these a lot and i uh, went up one size to size 40 and they also fit me because you should uh, i didn't want my kind of um any part to be sticking out of my foot because mules are just like that it's better to go a little bit bigger actually and mine are literally start white uh, white as you can tell with um silver toned hardware and this Kelly lock is actually functional but I mean I would I don't know why I would want to actually re um, unbuckle but you can if you wanted to so this is how um, the pair of mules look so I've I will show you how it looks on me so this goes well with flowy dresses um, shorts skirts jeans I mean for casual days I just love it I mean I just love this pair I think it's very chic uh, very effortless looking and very Hermes, the um, classic Kelly lock. I just love the Kelly lock, I, I, I realize like that's why I love my Kelly belt so much. I think it's one of the best things that I ever got from Hermes. So, oh and I did get a little scrape on the front but you know that's unavoidable. Unfortunately it's not, and uh, luckily it's not that noticeable and <laughs> considering that it's white, I've worn these a lot. And um, yeah, I just love, love this pair of Oz uh, Muse that I got from Hermes. So that's my collection. I actually have the, had the Hermes Dolphin uh, loafers as well with the block heel that was about, I think about two and a half inches. And I think I shared earlier that those were very uncomfortable, um, very heavy, right? And I didn't quite like how it looked. So I have that pair consigned in the consignment store for a very low price. If you're interested to buy shoes, do let me know. But to be honest, I haven't really bought secondhand shoes before. But uh, my friend who is the owner of the store says, told me that people do buy secondhand shoes. So I gave it to him for him to uh, see if he can help me to sell them. Okay, so now I want to talk about the uh, shoes that are on my wish list at Hermes and what I think could be good for you as well. well um, guys, as you, if you've been following me, you probably know that I love heels and you don't really get heels at Hermes much. They are uh, mostly uh, loafers, sneakers. They do have heels now and then, but it's not kind of like the Louboutin sexy kind of heels, right? It, uh, Hermes tends to have chunkier heels. They do have some high heel sandals. But the latest pair that has caught my eye is actually the Glam 60 sandal. So I will show photos and of videos that I took from the Hermes website. Uh, they're not even available on the Malaysia website, but I saw it in my store once, but um, there wasn't a size, unfortunately. So it comes in a few colors. The ones that I, the one that I'm showing is in um, uh, beige, a nude suede, and it's really pretty. Love the, the shade. And the, what I liked about it really is the heel. It's a block heel. And on the heel, you can see detailing of the chain, the anchor, which is, you know, one of Hermes's favorite designs to use. It's just a very um, comfortable looking sandal, I believe, with the block heel. It's not that high, about two and a half inches. And it's just a classic pair. Um, however, you probably do need to get a pedicure to wear these, or I would. So I think this would um, this is a great pair of feminine shoes that you can get from Hermes that you don't get that often. 
Okay, the second pair, um, the second pick I think I've shared before would be Royal Loafer. It's not really new, it's a very classic pair, but unfortunately, I still haven't seen it in my home store. So I picked a pair that is white. As you can tell, I love white. And the um, there's an H buckle on it. It comes in rose gold, uh, at least on the Hermes Canada website. I love the um, design at the top of the shoe. The loafer, I think this would go great with um, flowy dresses, jeans, of course, pants, and also skirts and shorts. And they actually do elongate your leg because it is uh, white, at least that's what I believe. And it's just really chic and very preppy, but also very um, still like not overly masculine. It's still quite feminine, in my opinion. Um, the other pair that I kind of have my eye on, which is a little bit of a surprise because it's not really my style, is as you can tell from the screen, it's the called the Extra Sandal. So it has a little bit of the uh, bikini sandal design here, as you can tell, the um, middle part um, across the top of your feet. But these are very wide sandals, almost like daddy sandals, like men's sandals, and they are super comfortable, according to my friend who got a pair. So this is something I'm looking for and um, definitely I love this color, this pale pink um, faded muted uh, kind of pink color that you can see. I think this pair would be really really great uh, for uh, weekends and for times when you really need to walk a little bit more. Okay, and the next one is also another pair of sandals. It's an Ijiri sandal. I looked it up. It's supposed to mean muse uh, in French. I love this electric blue color. I think I love this blue color and uh, hopefully they do have it. Uh, they would have it in my store soon. So what's special about this pair is that it is waterproof. It's not made of leather. Uh, but even though, uh, I mean, obviously I did wear my bikini sandals, which are made of leather on the beach. Um, so for this pair, it is made of TPU, so it's a kind of synthetic material. It's waterproof and it's a great pair for summer. They have it in black and many other colors as well. And in terms of pricing, it is also relatively lower, maybe because it's not made of leather. It is half the price of a pair of Oran sandals. So um, yeah, I think this is definitely something I have on my list. So the next pair is something that I feel looks a little bit like my bikini sandal so you can see where I gravitate towards. It's the Gabby 60 sandal as you can see. The uh, heel is also a blocked heel and it is also about two, at two and a half inches, um, six centimeters. And I love this pair that I'm showing you right now. It is brown color, very rich brown. It reminds me of a darker hue of gold, the Hermes Classic Gold. And it does look very comfortable also with the chain the anchor design but kind of a more closed up um, version of the chain the anchor and i think it looks really chic a little bit more a little bit cooler than the bikini sandal so this is something that i would love to have in my collection as well and finally i couldn't resist but to show you guys this pair of royal loafer that is such a lovely heavenly um combination of colors the white with the pale beige and the pale muted pink color let me get an exact color so the buckle on this one is palladium coated and they just called it multicolor blank so blank is obviously white <clears throat> and um, in many different combinations and i just want to get at least one pair really soon so um yeah guys i think in in general i really feel like hermes shoes are comfortable but except for that that I had to consign. Maybe it's because the ones that I got are mostly flat or flattish and not very high anyway. Uh, and the leather is really pliable and soft, um, the in the in interior part. So, so far, I've had no problems wearing um, a mesh shoes, apart from dolphin loafers, which I felt were heavy, but they're not uncomfortable per se. Um, I will have to complain about my pair of Chanel shoes, uh, the Chanel sling bags, the one that I got uh, with white tweed and the black cap because it is fabric the cap so that part was very very hard like in the interior it's just literally the fabric as well so it wasn't it was quite difficult to wear like after a while i noticed that that pair of shoes has become very very uncomfortable so i'll try to find a picture of that pair of shoes because it's now somewhere 
I'm like I have a lot of stuff in my room. Um, so guys, yep, that's my those are my top picks for the Hermes shoes, and also sharing thoughts from um the shoes that I have in my collection. Do let me know what you think or you have your eyes on, and um, try to do a entire shoe collection soon. But because I do have quite a few pairs and. Yeah, that it's a lot um, of stuff to organize. I have a lot of stuff to organize. So I'll try to do that maybe after I move or when I get stuff more organized. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely day. And do let me know what's on your wish list and any questions to do with Hermes or any other brands. And I will talk to you and see you really soon. Bye.